Well, if you're headed outside today, it's not turned out to be the best day. <laughs> it ended up getting a little rain yeah. here, which a lot of people get excited with the rain because we could of use course. it, but yes. it does kind of it kind of gets in your way when yeah. you have right. to be out and about. So that's we're seeing out there mainly just shower activity, mm. like uh, Robert mentioned. You can see on the radar right now a few showers right here in the Austin area, actually moving through kind of through the north to the north. Uh, these will continue for the next little bit here. A little bit heavier rain though, northern Burnett County. We've seen a couple strikes of lightning with that too, so maybe a rumble of thunder in that region. The majority of us, though, if you see some rain today, it's going to be on the light side, kind of like what areas near Bastrop are seeing right now. This all because an upper-level system decided to roll right across central Texas instead of further to our south and east, and so we're seeing this wet weather today. About 20% chance for the rest of your afternoon that you could see a shower or two. All right, let's talk about a live look outside right now. Here's San Marcos. You can see a few drops of that rain on the camera lens there. From our Chuck Nash Chevy Buick GMC WeatherNet site, we actually have a couple of these stretched all across central Texas. You can check them out on our website, kxan.com. They also have weather net information uh, right there on the website for you, too. You can check out the temperature, the dew point, uh, all that good information for you. Wind speeds, all of that there on our website. All right, let's talk about what's going on across the state. Earlier this morning, we had a very strong thunderstorm roll across the southern half of the state, kind of sparked by that upper-level disturbance. The remains of it tapered off over east Texas, and then as that system's pulling off to the east, sparking that shower activity right over central Texas this morning. You notice a pretty small area covered there, but a whole lot of the state under that cloud cover. So for the rest of your afternoon, we're keeping a small chance for showers in. We're also keeping those cloud covers around for the next couple of days. The reason being, we have a couple more disturbances that are heading our way, some out of Mexico, and then a larger system out over the west coast. That area of low pressure will swing in this weekend, increasing our clouds uh, today through Friday and even Saturday. And showers really start tomorrow. Better chances tomorrow and into your Friday, too, for showers and a few thunderstorms. All of this kind of wrapping up on your Saturday. So let's go hour by hour through your forecast. Here's what it looks like for the rest of the afternoon. There's those spotty showers, cloud cover over most of the state. Tonight, the clouds build right back in, thicken up a little fog. Early tomorrow, not out of the question either. And then through the afternoon hours, again, a chance for some showers uh, throughout the day too. About 30% that you could see some in your area. Right now, temperatures 69 degrees here in Austin. Cloudy skies. We have temperatures in the upper 60s for all of the hill country. Our eastern counties, low 70s there. 71 in Bastrop and 72 in LaGrange. We'll top out in the upper 70s uh, later on this afternoon. Tonight, 63. Another very mild night. Muggy too. Tomorrow, 79 with showers. Shower activity and your seven day looks like this a 50% chance for showers and thunderstorms on Friday. Everything wraps up Saturday morning. We'll see sunshine by the afternoon, and we're back in the mid 80s for the last day of your weekend.